Welcome back to our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions Lesson Number 9, Graphs of Logarithms Homework Review Part 2. If you have not got a chance to watch Part 1, please go there and make sure to check it out. So there's uh, some notes we talk about to kind of help explain some of the way things we, we do here for this second set of questions we have. And so we begin with question number six, determine domains of each of the following logarithmic functions. State your answers using accepted notation. Be sure to show that the inequality that you are solving to find domain and the work you use to solve the inequality. So the idea here, ladies and gentlemen, is that what we're gonna do is our domain will be normally log base b of x. Usually domain will be x is greater than zero. But so it's ever inside there must be greater than zero. So for the first one, we're gonna set 2x minus one to be greater than zero. And that's the inequality we're talking about here that we want us to solve. So for y, y equals log base five of 2x minus one, we said 2x minus one to be greater than zero. So now we solve for this. So adding one to both sides, we have 2x is greater than one divide both sides by two, our domain will be in this case, I guess in set bill notation, x for all values of x such that x has to be greater than one half. Okay, so really all values of x such that x must be greater than one half. So what we're doing, doing in this, all we're really doing in this case is we're just saying the inside of the log part to be greater than zero because we know in this case we the log base of anything can never be zero or less. For part B, we're setting the six minus x to be greater than zero. So we're gonna add x to both sides. And therefore six is greater than x or we write this x is less than six. So our domain will be all values of x such that x is less than six. And I'll include negative numbers for x as well too, because six minus negative number is a positive number. We just can't have x is six or greater than though. So our domains will be for a, x is greater than one half, and our domain for b will be x is less than six. Again, we set the inside part of our log functions to be greater than zero. For number seven, graph the log function y equals log base four of x on the graph paper given below. Well, I mean, not a graph paper, but I do have in this case a grid and we'll use that situation. Now, to be able to find the coordinates for this, what I want to do is I want to be able to rewrite this here so that I'm looking for y is equal to four to the x. And then the inverse of this will give us the log, log y equals log base four of x. So I'm gonna pick some values <clears throat> here and we'll see in this case that I'm gonna set x here, x and y for this graph here. So I'll use negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and three. Now, I know four to the third is definitely 64. Four squared is gonna be 16. Four to the first is gonna be four. Four to the zero is one. Now, four negative one is not negative four, but said one over four. Four negative two is not, uh, is not gonna be, uh, is not gonna be negative 16, but instead one over 16. And four to negative three will not be neg 64, but instead one over 64, because a negative exponent really is one over the base of positive exponent. Now you might be saying, why am I, why, why are you find this first? It doesn't make any sense. Well, because if we want to find the coordinates for y equals log base four of x, what we're going to do is we're going to just switch the x and y values. So whatever the y values were for y equals four the x become the x values. So one over 64, one over 16, one over four, one, four, 16 and 64. 
Now we might run out of space here, so you know we may not be able to like, actually graph all these points. So we'll see how things work out. So here, one over sixty-four, it, the the y value is going to be the x value of y equals four to the x. So so in this case, we see one over sixty-four y became the x, and the x becomes the y. So we're going to get in this case negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and three. Now we may not be able to graph all those points, but we definitely know where these points come from. We can find the coordinates for y equals four to the x, and then just switch the order. Okay, so the so we have coordinates here. Now one over sixty four is really hard to graph, really hard to graph. So it's very close to zero, and so but then the matching y value would be next three. So it's really somewhat close over here. So it almost looks like it's on on the on the uh, on the y axis. So, but that's not the case though. So it's one over sixty four comma negative three. Now one over sixteen, it's a little bit further off. So we're going to estimate this, but the y value is negative two, so it could be somewhere over here. It looks very close to that. Now one fourth is definitely a little bit further to the right, and then at y equals negative one, so sort of somewhere over here. Uh, maybe a little further here. That's there. There you go. Now we have one comma zero, four comma one, sixteen comma two. I want to get a sixteen here. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, is that ten? Yeah, I think so. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so sixteen comma two. Now, 64 comma 3, I don't think we have enough for. So those are coordinates we plotted, okay? And now I'm going to graph this in yellow, and so hopefully do the best I can in this case. To hit all the points. And I want to include in this case the asymptote. There's a dotted line, okay, at, y, at uh, x equals 0. This is our asymptote. Now the graph, when I graph this, I got a little bit further to the right than I really want to. So it's the left actually. So I need to move this a little bit further over a bit. Oops. Let me just uh, see if I can undo that. Okay. All right. And let's see if I can again, hopefully, move this a little bit to the right here. Okay. All right. Not bad. And so the Function is, is not going to touch it, but it's so close it looks like it's touching us. So, so we'll make sure that we when we graph this here, include the word asymptote. Asymptote at x equals zero. Okay, and so here, this is and this y is equal. This y graph is y is equal to log base b of x. Oh, log base four of x. Sorry about that. And so you want to include this in your graph as well too, okay? So yeah, yeah you definitely want to plot the points. You definitely want to draw the graph. You also want to include the asymptote. This sort of, it really is important to make sure you include that when you're graphing. Okay, now for question number eight. So log functions, in this case, whose bases are larger than one, tend to increase very slowly as x increases. Let's investigate this for f of x equals log base 2 of x. Okay, so again, so if f of x is log base 2 of x, it will be very similar to y is equal to 2 of the x. All right, and so if we make a table for this, if we want to evaluate at the values of, you know, one, two, four, and eight, I'll have in this case, x and y. So for y equals two to the x, I'll plug in numbers one, two, four, and eight. And one to the two to the first power is two, two to the second power is four, two to the fourth power is gonna be, well, not eight, but 16. 
And two to the eighth power, that's a big number, all right? So uh, I think that was going to be 256. I think it's 256. Okay, now how we do this? No, because 2 to the 4th is 16. Well, and 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 4th is 2 to the 8th, and 2 to the 8th is going to be 16 to 16 is 256. Okay, so that would mean in this case, well, if I want to find f of x equals log base 2 of x, well, what I want to find in this case is kind of in the matching values here. So x and y. Now I want to find when x is 1, x is 2, x is 4, and x is 8. So one of the things we find is that, well, I would have to take a look here on this, continue this table here, and we'll get in this case, well, for what for what value of x would y equal to one? And that'd be zero, because two to the zero is one. Therefore, log base two of one would give us zero. Okay, and we see in this case when we plug in two, we plug in two. We're going to get in this case. 1, because in this case we have the x, look, x comma 1, we have the coordinate 1 comma 2 for uh, 2 comma x, so 2 is y equals 2 the x. Therefore, the, if we take the inverse of that, it becomes 2 comma 1. Therefore, log base 2 of 2 would give us 1. So, that's that value there. All right? So, f of 1 equals 0. Okay, so f of 1 equals 0, f of 2 equals 1. Now we'll find f of 4. Well, I take a look here and the c in this case, oops, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, f of 4, I look for the y value of 4 and find the x. So that means f of 4 is equal to 2. So again, we're looking for when the function of y equals to the x has a value, y value of 4, find the matching x value. And so now, in the same way, kind of skipped over this number here, 3, when x equals 3 for y equals 2 to the x, 2 to the third power is equal to 8, which would mean that in this case, we would get log base 2 of 8 would be equal to 3. So f of 8 equals 3, because again, the x and y values are switched for the log function, okay? Now for our last part, for what value of x will log base 2 of x equal to 10? Well, for that one, log base 2 of x equals 10, that would mean that x equals 2 to the 10th power. Now 2 to the 10th power, well 2 to the 8th power we know is 256. 2 to the 9th power is 512. 2 to the 10th power, that would be 1,000, uh, I believe 1,024. Okay? So x equals 1,024. And finally, for log base 2 of x equal to 20, x is equal to 2 to the 20th. And to find 2 to the 20th, well, I'm going to use a calculator. So, in this case, we find 2 to the 20th power equals 1,048,576. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of our homework review for lesson number nine, graphs of, of a log logarithms. I hope you guys were found this helpful. I can put the full page here. And if you get a chance, please give a like to this video and of course subscribe to the channel. Make sure you catch the first video as well. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. See you in the next video.